Happy Sunday, everybody. Happy, happy Sunday, everybody. Mm. How's your weekend? Oh, it's all right, isn't it? Yeah, we do barbecue. Look at the sun. Whoa, it's sunny. Look. Sunny out there. <laughs> yes. Obviously, the Ranger's not on the drive. I've still got the shitty black van. <laughs> because I need a new turbo. Hey, hey. Right. This is one for Manisha because Manisha, number one daughter of Ascension, is saying Steve doesn't cook much. So Steve's going to do some chefing today. We're having sausages and burgers with caramelised onion and mature cheddar. And of course, chef's prerogative. Stella. Stella. I'm just sitting here I got time It's clear to see From up here The world seems small We can sit together It's so beautiful You and me to be in the great outdoor forever free so yeah we realize i've got no charcoal for the barbecue but I do have a spare uh, bottle of gas so i bought a regulator for it and for a change and for the first time ever on this gas to coal which sort of gives it away a bit we're going to run it on gas what I'm doing at the moment. I've plumbed it in. Whoa. I'm not going to test it on gas. I've got plenty of uh, charcoal, isn't it? Oh. <coughs> there we go. Obviously. We need a bit of a clean. But it should be all right. Yeah, pretty good barbecue, this. Paid quite a bit for it. Uh, it was last year. I've had it about a year. It is a, it's a nice barbecue. Never used it on gas before. Always been on electric. <laughs> electric. Charcoal. Always used it on charcoal. So this is the first time ever today. We'll have gone on to gas with it. I wonder if it'll make much of a difference to the food. A lot of people prefer charcoal. Personally, I prefer charcoal as well. But, uh, we'll see how it is with gas. Lovely barbecue. Ah, lovely beer. Even got a little hot plate there as well. Quite smart, really. Gas to coal. I can't remember how much I paid for it. I think it was about 500 quid. Yeah. In there I've got some, some tools and different things here for doing different stuff like fish and corn and all sorts of weird crap. Garden's looking better yesterday. I jet washed everything and today everything's a bit cleaner, a bit tidier. I'm going to have to make it uh, Nice, because uh, I think Manisha and Storm are coming over to see us at some point. Don't know when, but uh, it's got to be nicer when they come. Should be all right. Drop the lid. See how the temperature goes. Oh, and crack this bad boy open because I'm thirsty. I've got a mouth like an Arab's jock strap at the moment. Yeah, like I said, everything's uh, dying off now for the winter. And the central's little plants are going. There's got a few flowers about, not many. Not any beans? No. We've got a few beans, but we've got 
look at black flies and in fact quite a lot of black fly on it that's it we'll be eating them somehow but ascension cleared all the garden put all the tomatoes up and chilies and bits i don't know what we're going to plant in here next time round still got a few marigolds i think we'll put the strawberries at this side next year where they get plenty of light i'll have to put a mesh over them though because those greedy pigeons keep stealing them as soon as we get a red strawberry the pigeons are in and they're gone mm. yeah it's looking tidy Poor old jacuzzi out there i've not been in that for about a month greenhouse wise she's cleared all the cucumber out that's all uh, that's all gone now no cucumber left just the strings that she put up this monster here is butternut or butternut squash and she's got a monster butternut just there that's a big boy that one you know what that's bloody heavy and there's another one growing there that's the size of my hand near enough well this one uh, it's a bit bigger than my hand there's some strawberries that's one that the pigeons can't eat a uh, bit of bread it's essential loves oh not mouldy bread though i'm just about to say she loves feeding bread to the pigeons but she won't be feeding them this stuff i like pigeons <laughs> she's trying to poison them bless her I'll oh, fire like under B1N or bin. Oh, weather's nice. Look a bit of a blue sky today. It's tidy. We thought we'd have a barbecue. I realise we've not bought anything at all for the uh, for the Sunday roast today because I normally Ascension would make something for Sunday. We'd have like beef or lamb or pork, but we got nothing. So. Barbecue it is. Mm-hmm. Just want to see what Ascension's up to. Babe, you want... Uh, is it, it's okay two, two burgers and two hot dogs? Uh, yeah, I think I can manage... Uh, oh, you I think want... I can manage two and a couple of hot dogs. Oh, and because I got the uh, brace and... Ah, no, you've added chicken to the list, haven't you? Now we've got a load of stuff. Only two... Tell two. you what, just leave the bread for now. I got two only. Leave the bread for now, and then I'll cook all that, and then I can use the bread as we need it, rather than buttering stuff we're not going to eat, okay? So, hot dog is okay? <sighs> She's asking me. It's my turn to cook today. Normally, Ascension's a chef in the house. Okay, your turn. This is the chef. Okay, your turn, okay. Leave the bread. Leave the hot dog. What? She doesn't like it when I cook, by the way. It must be a Filipino thing. Oh, babe. You mean that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she can't even keep a straight face when she tells me no, babe. <laughs> okay, thank you. What is that? Is that pork or chicken? Pork, pork, uh, pork and uh, pork, breast. Uh, pork and chicken. Yeah, two breasts and two. two <sighs> so everything I said about just having sausages and where's my other burgers? Sausages and burgers today. That's got out the window because now Ascension's added pork and chicken. No, I can put them in the fridge and we can have tomorrow then. Why? You just took them out. Obviously, you want them cooked. Yeah, yeah, but still, if you want to marinate them tomorrow, we can have them if you want. Well, why did you put them out now then for barbecue if you want to marinate them? Silly, early, isn't it? Okay. So I'll cook them then as soon as they're out ready. Hey, it started already. It started already. It starts already. <laughs> she never yeah. likes it when I cook. No, I don't never say I don't oh. like it. What's that then? I put them in there. Another beer. She'll leave the booby traps around the house for me. Booby trap. Yeah. Everywhere I look, there's beer. So I've got a fresh one there. And I've got another one here. Here's one I made earlier. Ooh, temperature's up. What's that saying? They're on 300. Oh, yeah, that's hot. Smoking off all the fat that used to be on these things. That's cleaned them up just nicely. This barbecue is adjustable, so I've got no excuse for burning stuff at the minute. I've just taken everything down to like minimum. 
It's dropping me at about two, 220 to 250. 230, 240 even. Yeah, I don't want to go over the top with it. I'm going to plate up everything, then I'm going to break out the secret weapon. Alright, so we got meat. We've got meat. Just need a couple more things now. Where is it? Uh, she blows. Spare stabber. All right, babe. Yeah, I'm okay. I just put them here. Okay. Three burgers. Uh, two. Yes, one for you. There's more burgers there, babe. I'm supposed to be cooking all this. Oh, what are you doing to me? If we cook all we she's can... She's sabotaging me, that's what she's doing. I'm not sabotaging you, baby. Sabotaging me. If we cook... It's my cook show, but she's sabotaging me. I'm if sure we... I told her I'm cooking the sausages and the burgers. If we cook them, it's a lot, isn't it, babe? Yes, I know it's a lot, but it wasn't a lot before you put all this meat there, babe, was it? We wasn't cooking a lot, but now we are, because somebody's added chicken and pork. Sabotaging the show, that's what she's doing. I'm not sabotaging the show. If we cook them all, we can't finish them. That's the problem. There was just going to be sausages and burgers cooked. Somebody added pork and chicken. Who was that somebody, I wonder? Somebody there next door. Somebody there next door. Oh, Somebody. <laughs> next door, babe. <laughs> she does that all the time. With her mouth. She points with her mouth. Mm. Strange how they do with that, it's like... <laughs> What's my temperature like? Yeah, we're getting there. We are getting there. Right. I need a secret weapon. Oh, thanks babe. Just pass me a beer. Must have been the beer I've just picked up and then in my old age forgot about it and put it straight back down again. Let's do this secret weapon. Right, for the secret weapon, we need those. Some of that. Some of that. Yeah, I know you. I know you're gonna say it sounds crap. But it's not gonna be nice at all. But you'd be very surprised. A little bit of tomato sauce in there. And a bit of mint sauce. A bit of mint sauce. And just stir it in. Just get a really good stir. Wants a bit more mint sauce. So that's that. Then all you need is a brush, a paintbrush, simple paintbrush. Secret weapon. The paintbrush. We're getting there, aren't we? Let's get back to that Barbie. Right, got about 200 degrees with the lid shut, and that is on the lowest settings. We'll see how we get on there. Should be alright. 
not too hot. Burgers and sausages first, or should I put the chicken on first? Mm, I don't know. Let's go with the burgers first. Okay, burgers first. <laughs> Good old Stanley paintbrush, eh? Secret weapon. Yeah, I know what you're thinking. Mint sauce and tomato sauce doesn't sound very nice, does it? But you'd be very surprised that combination. How would it taste on a barbecue on meat? That's them underway. On with the sausages. These are just pork ones. Of course. A little bit of the old secret weapon down them as well. See what the solution thinks to it. It is nice. So while I'm here, a few shout outs. So we're gonna go for ready steady toe somewhere in Europe. Hope you're doing well guys. Hello Max, hope you're having a great adventure over there. And I'm going to say hello to uh, Ascension's daughter, Manisha, and her fella Storm. How's it going Storm? I've seen a picture of the car man, really like it. Um, love a blast in that thing, it's a proper bad boy. I do like that and I love the wheels, I look like bowlers. Not sure though. And I also want to say hi to Nane, that's a mum in the Philippines. Nane, hello Nane, hope you're well, hello, and also to all the sisters, I see sisters over there in the Philippines and her brothers, Gilbert, Junior, not talking much to Rooney at the moment because he's been a bad boy, so, uh, we'll see, he needs to sort himself out but we'll talk about that later, and uh, yeah, hope you guys are all well. Um, We'll see you when we come over, hopefully, maybe February, March, maybe, maybe April yet, I don't know, maybe for both birthdays, okay. Get the hang of this now, it's not cooking very fast, so I'm just going to crank these up to about 50%, we'll see how we get on, 50% should be alright. It's all trial and error, isn't it? First time you use gas on a barbecue. We'll see how we get on. The thing I do like about it, you can control the temperature. When you're using charcoal, you've just got to keep putting water on it to bring the temperature down. But on a gas one, it's pretty much instant. Right, where's my beer? Mm, coming on nicely. Looking well. Yeah. 
Yeah. Steve's special sauce, huh? Get in there. They come in on nice. You're getting hungry yet? Yeah? Right, let's let that cook for a bit. Unfortunately, I've got a casualty. Stella number two has bit the dust. Let's see what Ascension's up to. Weird, because the microphone keeps kicking out. I've shaken it off, it wasn't making noises. What, the microphone's making noises? Or well, you're making noises? You, 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 you She's not answering me. She means she was making noise. Hmm. She's complaining. You see how she gets when I cook? I... First she sabotages the cooking show, and then she starts complaining at me. Yeah. She's moody now. She's moody. Obviously she'll deny it, guaranteed. Deny it while talking about. Hmm. Yeah, she's moody. Are you moody? I'm not moody. Oh. And she'll start talking to herself as she walks away and cleaning. That's what she does when she gets moody. Okay. I'll get it out of the way. She hates it when I cook. That's it. She hates it. Because I'm in her domain, I'm in her kitchen. And she's such a good cook. Right. That's coming on just nicely. Looking good. Definitely going to be tasty. Probably had a bit more with that actually. Still a bit away. Right. 
time to introduce the chicken to the barbecue. Hello chicken. Chicken. Barbecue. Barbecue. Chicken. Introduction over. Oh my god. Why did she put so much out? I knew she was just having sausages and burgers today. She's gone mad. Pork. Oh well. Oh well. There we go. That's looking good. That's looking very nice. And that one there. Nearly out. That's okay. <coughs> That's looking good. Certainly smells nice. So we're out of the special sauce. Go back in the kitchen. We actually still use one of them tambos. Is it a tambo? Same thing's called, babe. Or a tambo. Huh? Tambo? Well, it's Tambo. Mm, I don't know. Yeah, we still use one in the UK. I don't know why, because it just leaves bits all over the floor. Well, Ascension likes it. The sausage is about done. I'll put them on the top. The burgers can do with a little bit longer yet. Just a bit. Let me get in there. A bit late in the year for a barbecue, but really fancied one today. A bit longer. Well, number three is going down quite quick, but it is the weekend. Mm. Do you like a beer? One of my only vices, besides smoking. So yeah, it's the Ford Ranger. It's been in the garage again. 
it's had all the manifolds done, the gaskets, and the mechanic thinks it's the turbocharger. There's a little arm that comes off the turbo actuator that goes into the turbo body and it's sticking quite a lot. So what I'm going to do is upgrade the turbocharger to a hybrid turbo, which will give it 450 brake horsepower up to about 211 brake horsepower. So it could be a performance upgrade as well. It's going to cost me about £500, I think. It's five, £600. So he's going to sort that out Monday. And uh, I should have it back soon. So I'm stuck with a little Ford Courier van at the moment. But again, not really complaining. 62 miles to gallon. Uh, as far as the land's concerned, yeah, we're well into paying that now. Uh, we're paying X amount of months. And within two years, that'll be fully paid off. And we can start looking at building a house. That's when this channel is going to get more interested because we'll be spending a lot more time at Philippines and uh, you'll be with us every step of the way from breaking the ground, putting the first brick down to, uh, to finishing the house. But uh, I'm really glad we bought that place. It's uh, near a place called Loag's, Loag City. It's L-A-O-A-G, Loag City, up in the north, north of Manila. So there's uh, a lake right near it, a big lake. It's got like a villagers significance lake payoy i think they call it p-a-y-o something payoy and uh, we're going to be roughly 10-15 minutes walk from the beach uh, on the top of a hill and it's quite sandy ground so we're not going to have any problems really with floods or anything like that typhoons yeah maybe we're near the water but we're not far you know, we're far enough away from the water to worry about big waves and things, so we're up on a hill. So as long as the house is built strong, we'll be okay. Uh, Loag City is 10-15 minutes drive away. It's quite a big city. And uh, I'm looking forward to it. I'm just looking forward to relaxing and uh, building the house, using it as a holiday home for a few years, and then retiring there. Oh, the boss is back. She brought me more beer. Look at her. Don't even say hello. She's so moody when I'm cooking. You should subscribe more, you know. Encourage her to cook. Comment. Say, Ascension, cook us some food. I don't have to do this then. And uh, she'll be a lot happier. You know, happy wife-ish. Happy life. Oh well. So work-wise, I've got to go back to... The parcel depot that I showed you the other day on the video because that diverter that was sending parcels left really quickly it decided to blow itself up and we've taken it out and put a normal conveyor in its place so we've eliminated it customers happy but I've got to go back tomorrow just to make sure everything's all right and then on Tuesday I think I'm going to Sunderland to Nissan um, to install a brand new system at Nissan, it's like a two-year job. And I've sort of decided to take the offer from LAC and go back and work from full-time. So I reckon I'll sign the contract this week for them and get me a brand new <laughs> Samsung, or whatever, Musso pickup truck. And I've agreed the salary, so I think it's time. Um, if I get sick, I get sick pay, I get holiday pay, I get my pension sorted out, another pension. So it's a no-brainer really, isn't it? I'm 57 now, you know. I don't want to be chasing money all the time, contracts all the time. So I've decided that's what I'm going to do. Oh well, five years, my own business. It's, uh, it's been good, it's been fun, it's been interesting. But it's time to settle again. <sighs> what else? Yeah, Ford Ranger. So as the guys on Ready Steady Toe said, you know, that ranger just doesn't want to tow a caravan. The caravan sat there ready, we want to go away. Uh, but the ranger just don't want to do it. It must be the, sh the worst, most work shy for being Ford Ranger that anybody's ever owned in their life. As soon as I mention towing to it, it, uh, it craps itself and breaks down. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I wish I still got my Land Rover. That would pull anything. Let's see how this food's getting on. 
Mm -hmm. Whoa, smells good. Shame I ain't got smell of vision. So sausages are about sorted. Burgers are about sorted. And old chickens doing the chicken thing. And the pork. Look at that. Whoa. That's about sorted. I think Ascension's going to be quite happy. Well, she's not. She's moody because I'm cooking. And she doesn't like it. But I think that's nearly done now. Okay, time for another fag. Be a number four. And I'm not feeling guilty because it's Sunday. And I'm relaxing. My last day off this week. Ah, so much nicer when it was summertime here with things in the garden. Never mind. Soon be Christmas. Not a bad day though. Can't get over the size of this bloody butternut squash. Apparently Ascension's going to eat it with ground beef. The bloody size of it. I mean, the thing is massive. It's just massive. I don't know how big that other one's going to grow. I think that's it. But saying that, we've still got flowers and... I can't see them growing, surely. It's not dead yet. I mean, that one's dead. That's had it. But there's still flowers and stuff and things trying to grow. Madness. First time I've seen them grow in the UK. Flowers are nearly dead. At least the garden's looking nice now. Bit of jet washing nesty. Even the fountain. Sort of clean. Looks better. I mean, that carpet was completely green. All the crap coming off the roof. See it on the drain pipes and stuff like that. It's very horrible. This should be about ready now, hopefully. I think it's about ready. One burger there. Looks a bit burnt. I'm sure it's not. Right, because it's supposed to be a little bit dark anyway. I think. Looks nice. Are we starving now? Sausages. Some consumption's chicken is about done. I'm sure that pork is. She does like it a little bit crispy. Oh, 
to check in the door. Don't want it too dry. She's upset with me. She's already upset with me anyway, so I'm cooking. I should do it, knock them off. Huh. Not as good as charcoal, I don't think. But you know what? Not bad for gas barbecue. Also, the beauty of this, once you've turned it off, it will get cold quick. So I'll be able to put the old uh, cover back on. So I'll just leave that open, just take cool down. I'm okay, quite pleased with that. Hmm. Some tally today. Filipino cleaning. Okay. Tobacco. Went out for that this morning. Got the rice on the go. Ascension doesn't eat anything without rice. There's somebody at the door. Let's see what that is then. Okay. So, window cleaner, once a month, 14 quid, front and back. And why do you want to get up the ladders and clean the windows? No, you don't do that. Because they use a lot of dogs on the go now. Oh, yeah, so the thing. Ah, okay. Fair enough. Mmm. That's good. So there you go, Manisha. I can cook. Mum doesn't like it though. Pushing me out the way, look, to get past. Pushing me out the way. You said you sabotage show this better you do your than your cooking show. Your cooking show anyway, it's not my cooking show. Is she moody? Instead of you sabotage that show, so it's better I leave you alone. So you can you can do your cooking show, are not it? She's moody, isn't she? I'm, I'm moody. I'm just telling the truth. Oh, okay. Because you don't want to to to, to that and make a fiddle fiddle and you do your cooking. So it's better uh, move away. She hates it when I'm in the kitchen. Okay, we'll leave the video now. Say goodbye, Ascension. Be nice. Be nice to all these people out there. Look. Be nice. Well, be nice. Oh, say bye bye everybody. Bye. <laughs> She's moody. Right, I'm gonna upload this video. Thanks for watching guys and uh I'll talk to you next week if I'm still alive. Still alive. <laughs>